What about, what about Logan TV World? So I just came across this video. This is just hilarious. I just couldn't stop laughing. I just couldn't stop. I, I, <laughs> I had to put this up. I just, I just really had to put this up. It's just, this is just awful. The lies actually are literally proving themselves blatant lies or deception is just showing up straight forward. I mean, you don't even have to put an effort any longer to differentiate between the truth and the lie. It's just that simple. So Al Jazeera has actually, I mean, it's hilarious how, first of all, let's start from the point where the guys were wearing nothing at all. So there was no way for them to be able to hide the ammunition they had in hand. And the funniest part of that goes further than that. So they come up, they come up and get them to pick up the guns, come around, put the guns down. Um, now these guns are different, obviously there's rifles, there's no more handguns, all that sort of, sort of thing. Um, but the funniest part is this. So if they were not wearing any clothes, where were they hiding the guns to start with? Let's just start from there. Okay. Let's say they were hiding the guns within the underwear, which is impossible, but yeah, let's say they were. Um, it goes further than that. So if you look at... He's <laughs> got still laughing about that. <laughs> if you look at the video, the I'm about to... <laughs> it's watching. It's just hilarious. It's good to laugh. The footage on social media shows several dozen men stripped to their underwear. Israeli media says these are Hamas fighters arrested at the Jabalia refugee camp. One man is seen walking towards a soldier and handing over a rifle and handgun. But note here how he's carrying the rifle in his left hand. However, Al Jazeera's verification unit, Sanab, has identified a second take of the same video. The Palestinian man is now holding the rifle in his right hand. And like the first video, he walks forward to place the weapons in front of Israeli soldiers. Let's bring in our correspondent, Alan Fisher. He's joining us live from occupied East Jerusalem. And Alan, another Israeli video raising questions not just around how it's been made, but also how it's depicting its subject. Uh, I, I, and why is this important? Well, let me show you how the Israeli army is framing this in the Israeli media. Here's a headline from the Times of Israel in the last couple of hours, and it says, Israeli army chief Hamas rule in Gaza faltering leaked video shows apparent gunmen surrendering. So apparent gunmen, even the Times of Israel doesn't exactly uh, take on board everything that the army is saying. And so, it so of course, you watch the video. Um, the point I'm trying to make is it doesn't even make an iota of sense. It's just complete bull. I mean, the moment you watch it, you're like, what on earth is going on there? Like, how the hell? As a person without any clothes, got the guns hidden. Right, okay. Let's leave you on the side. Okay, they had the guns hidden before. They stripped them naked. They got the guns out from them then. They put them on the side to make sure they haven't got no more ammunition on them. Let's play that as fair. All right, fair enough. Let's just give it to them, okay? And then the guns have different hands on Right, the, the 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 guns are different in hand. So initially it was the right from right hand, on the left hand, and then it's on right hand. When did that switch? He's still walking the same walk, same individual. <laughs> oh, lost. So that only I'm saying capital, only that is stupid will believe Israel after that sort of video. Again, I repeat myself. Only the stupid will believe Israel words after that sort of video. That is the evidence in itself. Time after time after time, they keep been saying the same thing. They keep been doing the same thing. They keep been doing the same thing. They are doing an irony of mistakes over and over and over again trying to make it look like the truth like i said trying to make it look like the truth but it never was it never is and that is the biggest issue with the ones who believe them still after all of that so you have got two sides of the history 
right or the wrong. You decide. That's all for now from Point of Patil. Um, if you haven't subscribed, um, please do so. I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Take care. Bye.